this video we will try to explain the stress index and how we can use it in the ventilatory management of ARDS let's start with the relationship of volume to pressure of the respiratory system this graph shows that the pressure volume ratio is not linear in general it is sigmoid in shape with two extremities where elastance is greater and a relatively linear intermediate zone in which elastance is lower. These three segments are separated by the lower inflection point and the upper inflection point. These two points allow us to identify pressures at which the recruitment or over distension begin. So the first zone is the zone of the recruitment where the elastance is high but it is decreasing with time. The second zone is the zone that is that starts after the upper inflection point and the elastance is high but it, it is increasing with time. The middle zone is the zone where the elastance is lower but it is constant. It has been postulated that paddle volume should occur in this central zone of the PV tracing between the lower inflection point and the upper inflection point. In this context, it is postulated that in volume control mode of ventilation with a square wave of the flow, linearity of the pressure curve during inspiration indicates that the tidal volume occurs between the two inflection points of the PV curve. In order to analyze this phenomena, the stress index was defined and can be calculated by the computer using this equation. This equation determines the pressure increase between two points. So we'll take the first point at time zero and the second point at time one. And we'll determine the increase in the pressure required to overcome number one, the long elastance, which is indicated by A, by the constant A here, and the airway resistance, which is indicated by the constant P in this formula here. However, a simple visual inspection of the tracing can demonstrate this phenomenon. You can see if the pressure time curve is linear, it indicates that the stress index is close to one, and that means the elastance is constant. If it is more than one, it indicates that the elastance is increasing with time and that indicates over distension. So we'll explain that in these examples here. So the first one is where the tracing is straight. You can see the pressure time curve has a straight linear increase in the pressure. The stress index here equals to 1 and that indicates that the tidal volume occurs in the low risk ventilatory area. It is the area in, that lies between the lower inflection point and the upper inflection point. And that's what you want to see in the management of ARDS on mechanical ventilation. 
in contrast to this in contrast to this example here where the pressure tracing is convex you can see that here corresponding to the lower part of the PV curve and indicating probable long D recruitment. The stress index here is 0.7. You can see this is outlined in the two columns here and the calculation of the stress index by the computer is 0.7. So this patient is ventilated in the area with the de-recruitment of the lung. In this example here, the stress index is more than one and that, that corresponds to a concave pressure tracing. You can see how the pressure tracing is concave here. This indicates probable over distension. The patient is ventilated at the right end of the BV curve, and there is a possibility of over distension here. So, if you put them all together, the stress index of one with a linear pressure time curve indicates ventilation in the constant elastin zone, which lies between the lower and the upper inflection point which is optimal. The stress index of less than one with the convex pressure over time curve indicates that the lung is ventilated at an area of de-recruitment and requires to increase the PEEP for that patient so you can move that tidal volume towards the middle part of the PV curve. Stress index of more than one with concave pressure tracing indicates that you are over distending the lung and you need to decrease the tidal volume for the patient. Thank you.